talking about um, so the structural and functional complexity of river networks. Uh, good morning. Thank you for, uh, can, can you guys hear me? Yes, we can hear you great. So good morning. Thank you for giving me an opportunity to talk here at the uh, summer seminar series. Uh, this work has been done in collaboration with uh, colleagues uh, from the University of Central Florida. The question we are trying to address is, uh, let me see. The, I, I don't think I can uh, scroll down. Okay, sorry. Uh, the question we are trying to uh, address is, does topology or in particular side branching influence the structural and functional complexity of river networks? So in a previous work, what we have seen is that if we consider two landscape, one is very dry condition and one in very humid condition. And, but with the same drainage density, what we observed is that the, there is a signature of branching pattern or the side branching on the, on the geomorphic uh, features of this uh, landscape, such as with function. And uh, what we have also observed that this uh, side branching increases with increasing mean annual precipitation. So when I say side branching here, we uh, quantify side, side branching using the Tokunaga self-similarity analysis, uh, where Tokunaga suggested that the ratio of side branching to branching uh, follows an exponential type of relationship with the C value, and or, or with the uh, Tokunaga parameter C, uh, which we refer to as C value. So if we consider two different simple networks here, the schematic, one fully or purely branched, one, uh, the maximum possible side branching, the C value for the fully branched uh, channel network is zero, whereas uh, for the side branched network is uh, higher. If you consider this particular network, uh, a schematic of the river network, the computed C value is 1.73. So for this work, we use 40 different basins across the United States uh, pertaining to different climatic conditions, and we computed their width function and area function. So, with function is essentially a one-dimensional representation of a channel network. Uh, as you walk along the main channel, you count number of channels uh, intersected at a distance x from outlet to, to the channel head. Whereas the area function is a, is a cumulative drainage area at a distance x from the upstream uh, as you walk along the channel head to the outlet. And in fact, it has been shown that these can be interchangeable. So here, uh, these are the two randomly selected uh, basins uh, and their channel uh, networks and their width function and area, uh, incremental area function. So here we refer to structural complexity as, a, as the complexity in the, chest, uh, in the arrangement of channels, uh, whereas the functional complexity uh, as the complexity in the channel network as well as uh, the unchannelized part of the landscape as there is runoff and so on. So for complexity analysis, uh, what we do is we use a sample entropy instead of the Shannon entropy, as Shannon entropy does not account for uh, the sequential arrangement of channels. So for example, if I consider these two basins, uh, with this, uh, which have the same total channel length and the same drainage area, thus the same drainage density, and also the width function probability distribution is same. So they will have the same, same uh, Shannon entropy. However, they have distinct signatures of the sample entropy uh, for this uh, with, with function. And this uh, sample entropy can be computed at different scales as well. So here uh, is the entropy at different scales for both with function and incremental area function. And what we, uh, the, in, from these plots, we can see uh, two different observations. Uh, first is that the entropy for the incremental area function is overall higher than the width function and the rate of change of entropy for the area function as a function of uh, C value is, or the, or the feathering is uh, higher in the case of incremental area function. And which can be uh, more clearly seen from, uh, from this uh, curve where we plot the slopes uh, of this uh, entropy as a function of C value with scales. So the red curve shows for, uh, for the incremental area function, whereas the blue curve shows for the width function. So from here, we clearly see that this uh, incremental area function has a higher slope or the rate of change of entropy as a function of C value as compared to the width function. So knowing that the width function tells you about the channel, uh, uh, channel arrangement in a river network, whereas incremental area function tells you about both channel arrangement as well as the unchannelized part of the landscape. If we take the difference between these two curves, it should tell us some information about the hill slope, uh, contribution from the hill slopes to the, 
to the complexity. And this is the curve showing the difference between the slope uh, as a function of C value uh, with the scale. And what we notice here is that uh, there is peak at the scale of uh, around 45 to 50 meters. Uh, from an independent analysis or of, uh, computation of uh, hill slope length, what we, uh, what we notice that uh, the hill slope length can be measured as the inverse of a uh, half of drainage density. And what we notice that this hill slope length is uh, on the order of uh, 56 meter, which is similar to the scale at which uh, the entropy uh, difference peaks, uh, suggesting that indeed the hill slope adds significant complexity to the basin uh, functionality. So in, 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 uh, in, 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 in short or in summary, uh, what we have observed is that the functional complexity is higher than the structural complexity and this complexity uh, peaks at a scale uh, or the characteristic scale of hill slope length. Uh, uh, with that, I would be happy to take any question uh, these are some of the references that might be useful. Thank you. Okay, please put questions in the chat. While we're waiting, I was um, sorry if you answered, if you, I missed it, but when you showed that graph of uh, change in slope as a function of distance, and you showed that over 40 meters, the slope remains constant. Why was that qualitatively? Let, let me see. So here, uh, you're referring to this particular figure, right? Um, or, uh, no, it's the one, the uh, slide oh, This one, right? Like after 40, 45 meters, this uh, saturated, because there is no more added complexity to the system. So that's the maximum complexity you would add as it's at the hill slope length here. Thank you. Okay, um, if anyone, uh, I don't think there are questions right now, but as you think of them later, please add them. Oh, one more to the chat. Uh, John Shaw, if you want to unmute yourself, you can ask your question too. Hello, Arvind. Can you hear me? Hi, John. Hi. Um, uh, you showed um, the contrast of, between two types of entropy. Uh, um, sounds, uh, I'm learning myself that uh, um, there's just many, many, many different ways of um, calculating entropy mm -hmm. in a uh, landscape system. And uh, do you have any sort of general thoughts about uh, what type you want to use for what question? Yeah, I mean, uh, so for instance, uh, in this particular case, we are interested in how, this, uh, cha how these channels are structured on a, on, a, on a landscape. So for that, if you use channel entropy or a entropy which is probability based, you will not be able to specifically pinpoint the spatial locations and so on. So for that, you need to, uh, to have some sort of uh, information about, or some sort of metric, which can uh, contain the information about the sequential arrangement. And sample entropy does that. So it, it, in addition to, sam uh, to Shannon entropy information, you get some information about uh, how these channels are arranged too. So that's what I was showing in that example that, uh, I mean, uh, the width function, uh, the probability distribution of the width function can be same. Uh, so they will have the same Shannon entropy, but they'll different sample entropy. So yeah, it depends on like what your question is. So if you are in, interested in uh, knowing the arrangements and so on, so I would not use Shannon or something. I would use some other entropy. 